Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair here with a video for you. If you're not a big fan of an awesome program called Image Burn, I honestly don't even know how people don't like this program, but if you do not, or let's say it's having a glitch, then we understand your program's going to be showing you how to uninstall this program. Also, on the end of this video, or if you want to look at the descriptions, we'll pretty much also give you an awesome link coming up where you can get some exclusive like Windows license keys and like office stuff like that pretty much cheap less than fifteen dollars and pretty much we'll have our discount code and stuff like that depending on your what area where you're at i know some places it may not have the discount but regardless for people who can use it it will be great and we'll pretty much go ahead and get started right now so here is pretty much the image burn program as you see it is right here and I, I really honestly don't have no problems. I love this program. I use it all the time. But if someone doesn't like it, we're pretty much going to be showing you how to uninstall this. Now, on Windows 11, there are many different ways you can do this. You can pretty much go to there. I'm sorry, showing recommended if it wasn't there. Um, you can search for the image burn. Then you can right click and you can press uninstall. You can pretty much go to start. And then you can, well, honestly, you can click the start menu. And you can go to settings. And then from there, go to apps and features pretty much where is it at apps right here and apps and features and then there's image burn that's right there also there's easier routes so honestly the most common one i do on windows 11 now i pretty much go to start menu and all i do is right click on it and i pretty much go to apps and features and pretty much from that point you can just select the program it's that pretty simple from this point you can see clips honestly just click the image burn now because this is windows 11 you can't just click it you honestly have to go to the right and click the three dots and then you can press uninstall. Now, before I do this, it does happen out of the blue on Windows 10. And this has honestly has probably happened on Windows 11 too. If it's not wanting to be showed here underneath the regular settings, you can pretty much go to start. And you can type in control panel. I actually kind of showed history what I was just on. But you understand, you'll type it. And then I have this layout. You can select programs or honestly, you can just click the uninstall program. And it takes it to this location. And then from there, you can select image burn. Now, it comes to a point that if you have this program installed and you're not showing the shortcuts and it's not showing the programs and features, and I honestly can show you where you can find this and manually delete it. Um, that'll be another video, but you just have to let me know. Regardless, there's image burn. You can click it and you can press yes to uninstall or you can press uninstall and I'll pretty much get to the same place. And you get the concept of this and you'll just process doing the work. But for most people who are able to, there's image burn right there. You'll click three dots underneath the regular apps and features and press uninstall. And I'll ask this app and it's related info will be uninstalled. We get this area on every program. I honestly like, well, what's the whole point? We understand you're going to click it. So this is like a third time. Don't you love Windows 11? <laughs> Regardless, here we are and press yes. And then this is pretty much the process of uninstalling it. This is what the program will do. And honestly, your program is going to press uninstall. And it takes less than a few seconds because it's pretty much just going to delete the files. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty much gone. And you press close. And now when I X this out, we see the icon has disappeared. Let's go to the start menu. And the recommended just disappeared also from seeing that. I'm going to go to all features. I love Discord because you see Discord's getting a glitch here. I actually uninstalled that. It's, it's funny. Look at this. It's not there. I love the start menu on Windows 11. So many. There's still lots of little sometimes bugs on here. But regardless, we're there. And I'm going to go to apps and features. Uh, so you can see if I can more. Yeah. Open file location. And I'm honestly just going to go to programs and delete this real quick for you. So this would be an example. In case it had a shortcut of like that other program that we just saw right there. Um, you can honestly just click the folder and it's deleted it out there. So here we are again to start menu. And you'll go to search. And we're going to look for it. And I'll see if we have image burn. And I do not see it either. So we're pretty much, we get the concept of doing this. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair. And I will see you on the next video. If you are searching for a cheaper route for like a Windows 10 product key, or maybe you don't want to pay for that monthly subscription for Microsoft Office, then head over to premiumcdkeys.com. From there, you can choose software, and you have a variety of different type of operating system product keys you need. They even have the Microsoft Office for discounted codes that you can use to activate them too. Just choose which one you want, and it'll be very useful. The one I'm going to use is go ahead and use a Windows 10 Pro product key, and they tell you instructions and stuff if you need to do the ISO that's needed and activations, how to do it. It's pretty simple, and just choose what you want. I'm going to go ahead and select Add to Cart for the Windows 10 Pro product key, and then here we are. I'm going to go ahead and go to Checkout, and you can use our discount code called Helton's Computer Repair, and press Apply.
This will give you a small percentage of discount that helps you and helps us too. From there, you can type in your billing information or you can use PayPal. Be sure on the contact information for the email that you do use an email that you have access to because that is where they're going to pretty much send you the product key for the activations for it. So you will need that to be done. And that should be pretty much it. Just go ahead and complete your transaction and everything should be good. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button, get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store, link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.